Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about extreme of function of two variables. So in this video, we are going to consider one function of two variables, and we are going to show how to find the local extreme values of such a function. So uh, let me uh, start with explaining the rules which we are going to apply. So if you are given the function of two variables, let's say u equals to fxy, then we are going to uh, find first the critical points or so-called stationary points. By finding the first order derivative, partial derivatives in, with respect to x and with respect to y, and equalizing them to zero. So f derivative x is equal to zero, and the derivative with respect to y equals to zero. From here, we can get one function, or we can get several functions. <laughs> so in this meaning, we can have delta. We calculate the de delta, which is uh, the quadratic form, uh, which involves the second order derivatives of the function. So if we find the second order derivative fxx uh, and second order derivative fyy and minus the mixed derivative uh, fxy squared. So if this uh, delta, uh, if this de delta gives us the positive value, then in this case, uh, the point is an extreme point, you know it from our lecture. So fxx equals uh, greater than zero gives us local minimum point. And fx x, so second order in respect to x, if it is less than zero, then we get the local maximum point. And if delta is less than zero, uh, then our function uh, doesn't have the extreme point. Actually, it has a point which is called a saddle point. You know why we call it the saddle point? And if you recall, for delta equals to zero case, uh, our uh, method, this method is inconclusive. So we cannot say anything about the local extreme values with this method. We need to do some extra research by completing the squares or maybe the graphical method. So we can apply different, all sorts of methods here to find out, but not definitely this method. So uh, let's let's go on with explanation in deep uh, on this uh, specific question. So uh, in our case, function is f, again, let me write our function here. So it's x cubed minus, uh, if you remember, it was 6xy plus y cubed. So again, as we said, let's find the first order derivative, f derivative with respect to x. It is 3x squared minus, 6y, and we equal to, it to 0. f derivative in respect to y is equal 3y squared minus 6x equals to 0. So you can see from this system, which involves the squares, we can do like, we can divide by 3 the first one, so it's going to be x squared minus 2y equals to 0, and we can get from the second one we can divide by three, it's y squared minus two x equals to zero. So obviously we can uh, substitute from here, we can substitute uh, y as x squared divided by two. So from this first equation, we get y equals x squared divided by two. And I'm going to substitute it in its place here, where we have y in the second equation. So it's going to be x squared divided by two squared minus two x equals to zero. So let's solve this equation. It's x to power four divided by four minus two x equals to zero. We can multiply by four both sides. We are going to get x to power four minus eight x equals to zero. x we can factor out x cubed minus eight equals to zero. So obviously we have the roots x equals to zero and x equals to two. So uh, we can place them in uh, our substitution. We are going to get y equals to, for x equals to zero, we got uh, y equals to zero. And for x equals to two, we get y equals to two. So we have two points, our points are uh, zero, zero, and uh, two, two. So for each of these points, 
we are going to make our uh, we are going to make our uh, investigation, our research, and we are going to find out whether these points are local external points uh, or they are just uh, usual critical points. So for, for this purpose, let me delay this. We are, we are not going to need this part here. So I'm going to delay it here. Okay. So I, I'm going to continue from uh, this part. So we have here uh, fx. So obviously fx x is equal to six six. Uh, f y y is equal to six y. Also, you know that we need fx y, which is the second order mixed derivative. So which is fx y is going to be minus uh, six here. If we find the derivative with respect to y here, we are going to get negative six. So let's construct our delta. Our delta is equal. Uh, again, uh, if you remember, it is 6x six, six times 6y six uh, minus fxy squared. So it's going to be 36. So 36xy minus 36. Let's analyze our first point. Let's first take 0, 0. So for this 0, 0, we are going to get here if you place here in in, uh, in this expression, we are going to get delta equals to negative 36. So obviously the point, our point is a saddle point. We call it a saddle point in this case. If you remember, we said that in this case, the point is not a local extreme, it's a saddle point. And if two, if you can see the two, two, we are going to get delta equals to. So if you place here two times two, 36 times three, we, we are going to get something, a number which is greater than zero, the positive number. So again, the, if the if it is the positive number, then the point is obviously local extension point. And if you look here in our second order derivative, we are going to get uh, six times two. So fx x is equal to six times two. We, we place x here as in our form was, so it's going to be 12, it's positive number. So again, our point here turns to be local minimum value. So if you remember, we explained here if, if x, f x x is greater than zero, it is local minimum point. If x x is less than zero, it is local maximum point. And for our cases, you know, our uh, answers. So obviously we get zero, zero is a saddle point and point two, two and two is uh, local minimum point. So in order to find the local minimum, do not forget to place uh, here, we are going to place, so uh, F minimum point is equal F, the value of F at two and two. So it's going to be two cubed minus six times two times two plus again two cubed. So obviously it's going to be eight plus eight is 16, minus six times, uh, six times multiplied by two, multiplied by two, it's uh, again 24. So we have negative eight. So this is our local minimum value for this function. I hope the uh, video was useful for you. I have chosen such a function to have two points. You know how to deal with one point. Maybe that would be interesting for you to analyze. You see, uh, for each point, we have a different analysis. Uh, we have a different analysis. For the first point, we place the points here, uh, x and y values, we get the saddle point. And for the second point, for, we get the local minimum. So each point should be analyzed differently. For each point, we are going to get different de deltas. Maybe the same deltas if f, x, x, uh, if our second order derivatives are constants. So in this case, we might get the uh, in the constant case, we might get the same things with the same delta for, for the values, they will not change. So uh, again, uh, it, do not forget if you have questions, do not forget to address to me directly or leave a comment in YouTube channel. Uh, I hope to meet you with our uh, next videos in, in the next uh, meetings. And also do not forget to share with me the topics that uh, you feel some more detailed explanations. 
Take care, bye. See you in one next week.